Hi, Sunny here, and today I'm going to be talking about some OnStars history. So get your notebooks out, uh, there will not be a test. Uh, <laughs> specifically, I'm going to be talking about when uh, OnStars underwent its big update and came to be the games that we know it as today, OnStars Basic and OnStars Music. Uh, before that, it was just Ensemble Stars, single exclamation point. So first, I need to talk to you about that OnStars anime. Bear, bear with me here, I swear. <laughs> December 5th, 2015, the OnStars anime is announced. An anime adaptation of OnStars was actually first announced way back in 2015. Fellow OnStars scholars may be able to note that this was barely even a year after the game had been released. However, after that announcement, news on this supposed anime adaptation went radio silent. February 17th, 2017, the OnStars anime is postponed. Two whole years after the initial announcement, the anime was confirmed to have been postponed to an unknown date, and thus, the OnStars anime returned to being a myth. May 5th, 2018. The OnStars anime is announced again. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the anime adaptation of the game was back. It was real, and this time, it had a key visual and confirmation that the studio David Productions would be handling the anime. Memes ensued. November 11th, 2018. Plans? for the large-scale update and new game are announced. I will get back into talking about the anime in a moment, I promise it is relevant, but first I need to talk about what I'll be calling the big update. This big update was first announced at the end of 2018. OnStars had been running for three whole years now, and they revealed that the game would be entering a new phase and getting a massive revamp in the later half of 2019. This is also when they revealed that the game's name would be changing to Ensemble Stars now with two exclamation points. There are two exclamation points. That is twice the excitement. That wasn't all though, as they announced that an entirely new game was also in development. This new game would be a rhythm game and be separate from the current On Stars, but share the same story and events. So you could just choose which gameplay you want, basically. Or be a crazy person like me and play both versions. June 25th, 2019. Unit collection events are introduced. With the anime set to be premiering soon, see, I told you it was important, OnStars announced that a new type of event would be held throughout its broadcast. These events would be called Unit Collection Events and feature special card art that looked like the anime. July 7th, 2019, OnStars anime broadcast begins. It wasn't some elaborate hoax, the anime actually aired, and it was decent. Emphasis on decent. <laughs> July 15th, 2019. Trickstar Unit Collection event begins. A week after the anime dropped, the first Unit Collection event began, featuring the poster boy unit themselves, Trickstar. Here's a good time for me to actually explain how Unit Collection events worked. If you're not familiar with how OnStar's basic gameplay works, the short of it is that you tap rooms until what's called a live pops up. You clear that live to earn event points and repeat until you get uh, a million points. Unit Collection events lasted 10 days like normal events. However, they didn't have 4-star and 5-star cards as point or ranking rewards. To obtain the event cards, all you had to do was open the event page and boom, there you are. There you go, you're done! You have the event cards! <laughs> These initially 3-star cards have art based on the anime's art style and can be evolved into 4-star and then 5-star cards. To evolve these cards, you needed to complete what was called a growth map. To level up the growth maps, we needed to collect a new item called growth stars, which would drop from any of the event lives. Here is a table of how many growth stars were needed to evolve each card fully. Along with these anime art cards, these events also had a thing called solo lives. Solo lives were unlocked through point rewards. Once you gained enough points, you could challenge the solo live and earn points for that individual character. There were no rewards for completing solo lives or getting a high ranking. It was all just for bragging rights and to show off how much you love your fave. I like vaguely remember Valkyrie's unit collection event came at like a time when I was really busy, so I couldn't actually play much. So my Mika ranking is, is embarrassing. Do not look at it. If that explanation was too confusing, basically there was no reason to play unit collection events unless you wanted to bloom these cards, get a character voice line or a solo BGM, or you just wanted to show off how much you like a character for no real rewards. September 9th, 2019. Link the symphony that starts from here event starts. After Trickster's unit collection event, the game had continued in a unit collection, normal event, unit collection type formula for a while, but this is where it all came to an end. 
This was the last proper event of the single exclamation point era. What was special about this event is that its story would be linking the current OnStars to the new game's main story, hence the title Link. Once it ended, that was it. We have now entered October 15th, 2019, Unit Collection Hell. From this point onwards, the only types of events that were held in-game were unit collections. I should probably mention that during this period we only got new gachas once a month, so even they were slowing down. There were revival gachas depending on which units were in the collection event, but the fatigue was setting in fast. <laughs> those revival gachas are a whole video on their own. <laughs> I have beef with those revival gachas. October 27th, 2019. New challenges approach. On October 27th, OnStars updated their site with new information, the most notable of which being that new units would be revealed at the upcoming HEF 2019 event. Along with this surprising news, we also found out that a demo version of music would be playable soon. Outside the game, big things were happening. Inside the game? Uh, yep. October 31st, 2019. No Halloween event. Technically, we got a spooky themed gacha to tire us over, but as a person whose favorite time of the year is when Mobage will start dropping their Halloween events, I was quite disappointed. <laughs> November 8th, 2019. Music demo releases. Now, the OnStars music trial isn't available on the App Store anymore today, but since I'd previously downloaded it, I was somehow able to re-download it, and surprisingly it still works. Um, so <laughs> here it is. <laughs> I actually completely forgot that uh, a demo version of music released, and, but like when I was researching for this video, I was like, wait, that did happen. Wait, there was a demo. <laughs> it had like two songs in it. And um, yeah, it did. I, I, for some reason it still works, I guess because it's offline, but... Uh, whilst researching, I also found a lot of people posting having trouble with the demo. Like, apparently the models didn't even work at first for some people. And uh, a lot of people were complaining about lag. Someone's game also looked like this, which is like <laughs> super good deep fried or something. And I have a relic of time on stars. Oh yes, version. November 9th, 2019. New units, new songs, and an all new trailer. As promised, two new units consisting of four characters each were revealed. Looking at them now, five years later, they all fit right in, back, but back then it was like, who are these people? Who are you? <laughs> these don't look like OnStars characters. <laughs> that guy just looks like H. <laughs> uh, this first trailer for the new games also gave us a look at what the revamped basic would look like. The hype was real. In game though? Uh, mm, y yep. Uh, yep. November 11th, 2019, teaser MVs start being posted. On Happy Elements' YouTube channel, they began posting short teaser music videos for each unit, showing off the graphics of music. I remember this being like really exciting because OnStars had always had songs and music, right? But we never actually got to see these characters perform outside of the anime. But the, the anime, um, let's just say the CG in the anime uh, leaves a lot to be desired. November 19th, 2019. Dawn of the final gacha. On the 29th of November, the snow globe gacha began, and this would be the final gacha released in the single exclamation point era. December 22nd, 2019. Anime finishes its broadcast. Don't think the anime ending meant that we were out of unit collection hell. There were still two more events to get through. <laughs> December 30th, 2019. Snow globe gacha ends. Nothing but revival gachas left now. December 31st, 2019. Eden unit collection event begins. Here it is, the final unit collection event. We were nearly free. What was funny about this event though, is that we had no actual confirmation that Eden would be getting one. For those not aware, before uh, double exclamation point, Eden were more of like an antagonist unit and only showed up very rarely in main story events. Back then, Eden Eden's members didn't have many cards at all. So this event dropping was like, oh my God, <laughs> they remembered them. January 10th, 2020. Eden unit collection event ends. And thus, we enter the limbo period. No new in-game events or gachas, only story campaigns and revival gacha campaigns. Nothing new until basic and music dropped, which we still didn't even have a concrete release date for. I remember a lot of people at the time joking that they were finally free and OnStars was over. <laughs> January 28th, 2020. We get a release date. With a shiny new opening movie for the game, we also got a confirmed release date for Basic and Music. Ensemble Stars Basic and Music would be releasing on the 9th of March 2020. 
February 1st, 2020, the second round of music videos are uploaded. To tire us over, Happy Ellie began uploading more music videos for each unit, this time them being the full in-game versions of the songs. Again, this was all very exciting, and I remember seeing fans of each unit, like, losing it on my timeline each day an MV dropped. And to be honest, I also lost my mind a little when Miwaku Geki dropped. Looking back, though, at these really early MVs, like, damn, music. <laughs> the MVs in music have come so far. Like, back then, it was like a boring stage with a couple light effects. And now the stages are like five locations, props everywhere, fire effects. Like, there's a UFO on the stage. There's a train. The stage is a moving train. Uh, crazy beer in a car. And then you look back and it's like, oh, oh wow, uh, Ray, uh, sung into a microphone. February 14th, 2020. No Valentine's. Along with Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day also did not get an event or a gacha. And that's like a pretty big money making time. March 1st, 2020. The last MV is uploaded. We were nearly there. The in game content drought was almost over. Reminder that nothing was releasing in the game at this time. <laughs> March 4th, 2020. Blackout. On March 4th, Happy Ellie announced on Twitter that the game would be going into extended maintenance to prepare everything for the update. This meant that the game would be down for five whole days. Everyone gave the team their well wishes, and I took a screenshot saying goodbye to Mika. I was scared, okay? This, this felt like the end. I was like, God damn, I'm never gonna see Mika again. What if they just never release the game? What if he's just gone? March 8th, 2020. Basic and music get postponed. Due to app screening procedures and final checks needing to be conducted on the game, the release of OnStar's Basic and Music was postponed to an unknown date. They said that it should be within the next week though, but <laughs> my fears are coming true. I'm not gonna see Mika again. <laughs> March 15th, 2020. OnStar's Basic and Music release. Ooh, ah! We are in the present day era. I remember the updating Basic. I was terrified because when I opened the game, right, everything was new. I opened my cards. Nothing was there. My cards were empty and I was like, oh my god, I stuffed something up. My cards have been deleted. Holy shit, I need to email Happy Ellie and be like, you deleted all my cards. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, wait. What's this button do? And uh, all my cards have just been moved to the album. They, they were all there. So I, I had a heart attack for nothing on, on opening day. <laughs> they found a way to just quietly, like, soft reboot the game without really telling us it would be a soft reboot. I think it's pretty, like, crazy to look back at that the game had, like, had this little content in it for months. Because... If for other games, that could be like, that could tank the game. It could just run out of money and end, basically. Like, Happy Ellie must have been pretty confident that uh, Double Exclamation Point was going to do well to um, stop the game dead in its tracks for this long. Uh, when you compare it to, like, Proseka, who kind of did the same thing recently with the brand new world update, that came, that came out overnight. <laughs> they had been... <laughs> preparing that for a very long time obviously they didn't want to do this slow build method i mean it paid off for onstars though it's like it makes like a billion yen a month now <laughs> let me know any experiences you had around this time if you played if you didn't if you even knew about this uh, <laughs> probably sounds like uh, nonsense to newer players let me know if you liked this sort of video and uh, yeah i expect your essay responses to be in by thursday uh, thank you and goodbye. The period between OnStar's double exclamation point releasing and single exclamation point. This is such a bad sentence. Why are the games called this? <laughs> fellow OnStar's scholars may be. A <laughs> fellow OnStar's. <laughs> fellow OnStar's. <laughs> Here is a good time for me to actually explore, explore? <laughs> That's a typo. If you're still confused after that exclam uh, exclamation, oh my god. <coughs> I'm literally losing my voice, I can't be a YouTuber.